To communicate a powerful message, the University of Cincinnati invited survivors of the Seton Hall University fire and the families of two UC fire victims to campus tonight. They're at the university to stress to students why they need to take fire safety so seriously. Nine on your side reporter Amy Wattis is live from UC with the story. Amy. Well, Carol, the event called after the fire was presented here at the Tangeman University Center on campus. Now, the main message passed on to students tonight. You don't think don't think that this can't ever happen to you. This is the video you see presented to students this afternoon. A movie bringing back the day a fire broke out in a dorm on the campus of Seton Hall University in New Jersey back in 2000, killing three students and injuring dozens more. Two survivors of that fire, Alvaro Llanos and Sean Simons, were here on campus to send out a strong message. You, know, you want to go and have fun and you want to go get an education, but at the same time, you have to listen to the administrators. You have to listen to what they say as far as fire safety and prevention. Simons and Llanos fought for their lives in the hospital, dealing with burns covering their bodies and intense pain. We hope that, you know, our story is one of those that um, sticks with people and say, you know, when their parents send them to college, they say, you know, uh, is the school that I'm sending my child to, is it a, you know, do they have the right fire prevention and fire safety programs? Um, you know, um, do they have fire sprinklers? Um, you know, things of that nature. A little over eight months ago, UC students 20-year-old Ellen Garner and 21-year-old Chad Coles lost their lives after fire broke out at a home in University Heights. They died as a result of toxic smoke inhalation after they couldn't escape from an upper-level house apartment. Garner's father is making it his life's mission to spread the word that a fire can kill. I think it's important because, look, it wasn't that many years ago I was uh, a young adult myself and uh, I felt fairly invincible, but the truth is none of us are. Why UC's Safe Housing Task Force launched today's initiative in hopes of getting the message across one event at a time. And that task force is holding another meeting here on campus tonight at 8 o'clock in case you missed the uh, 3 o'clock uh, event. Uh, the event will actually be held again here at the Tangeman University Center in the Great Room. Amy Wattis, 9 on your side, live from UC. Thank you, Amy. And